Let's begin in a comfortable cross-legged position toward the front of our mats. Allow the eyes to softly shut. Let the hands come down to the knees, palms facing down. Let your shoulders relax down away from your ears. Reach the crown of your head up into the sky. Start to let go of the dream that you call your life. Let go of your stories, let go of your drama. Let go of your bills, your responsibilities, your expectations, your desires. And allow yourself to come into this moment right now. Come into your breath and notice how you're breathing. Start to feel your inhales expanding and your exhales elongating. Inhale in, reaching the crown of the head all the way up into the sky. Exhale, let your shoulders relax down away from your ears. Your knees get a little closer down to the earth. Feeling those long inhales and long exhales. Inhaling in all the way down below the ribs, down into the diaphragm, down into the belly button, all the way down to your root. And then exhale, pushing out all that old, stale air, pushing out the air all the way from your fingertips and toes. Feeling the strength, length, and power in your breath. Throughout our practice today, always come back to this breath. The same comfortable, long breath. On an inhale, inhale the arms out to the side, all the way up into the sky, reaching the fingertips, feeling that length. Hold the breath at the top, bring the palms together, exhale them down in between the eyes to the third eye. May your practice cultivate enlightened thoughts. Bring the hands in front of the mouth. May your practice cultivate enlightened speech and bring the hands in front of the heart. May all of your practices cultivate an enlightened heart. Take a few deep breaths pushing the palms in toward each other, activating the arms, the chest muscles, and letting the shoulders relax down away from your ears, reaching the crown of the head. Finding those same long inhales and long exhales. And then I want you to picture yourself in a room. Whatever room comes to mind, Perhaps it's a room from your past, a room that you wish to be in your future, or a room that only exists in your mind's eye. For those of you that have been on this journey before, see if you can find that same room, that same safe space that you've come to know on this journey. For those of you that are new on this journey, start to find the details in your room. Find the details in the floor, the walls, the ceiling. How big is your room? What does the air feel like? Is it warm? Is it cool? Throughout our practice today, every time that you close your eyes, place yourself in this room, in this safe space. Bring the hands down to your shins, change the crossing of your legs. Sitting up tall, take a big inhale in. Exhale, leaning forward over the shins. Inhale, pick a direction and start to roll the entire body. Inhaling back and exhaling forward. You can let the head go, let the shoulders go. Playing with the sizes of your circles, closing the eyes. Letting just the head and neck rotate. Letting just the chest find its way around. Moving with your inhales and exhales. Inhaling back and exhaling forward. And with the eyes closed, place yourself in this room, in your sanctuary. How far are you from the walls?
What does the ceiling look like? What color is it? Out of what is it made? How about the floor underneath you? Is it wood, grass, carpet? Allowing yourself to get lost in the movements of your spine. And then slowly start to take the circles in the opposite direction, moving with your breath, pushing down on the left knee when you go to the right, and pushing down on the right knee when you go to the left. Moving with your breath, moving with your intuition. Your intuition is connected to your subconscious, it's connected to your dreams. It's that feeling that you get before you have a thought, before you put words and sentences and whole ideas together. You have an intuitive thought, a subconscious thought. Perhaps it's made up of images, feelings. It starts in your gut and then spreads to the rest of your body. See if you can allow those thoughts, those quiet subconscious thoughts, to get a little bit louder and the conscious thoughts to get just a little bit quieter. Start to settle the body back to sitting up nice and tall, relaxing the shoulders down, feeling the length in the spine, still feeling that movement in the internal nervous system. Allowing those subconscious thoughts to get a little louder and the conscious thoughts to get a little bit quieter. Bring your legs out nice and wide. You can turn sideways on your mat if you would like. That's more comfortable for your heels. Otherwise, just sit up nice and tall, flex the toes back towards you, and then inhale the arms straight up into the sky. Turn the torso over the right toes, and then exhale down toward the toes. Inhaling through center, and then exhale down toward the opposite. Inhaling through center, exhaling over. Moving at the pace of your breath. If you'd like, if it's available to you, you can start to reach the opposite fingertips down toward your toes, up over your ear. Inhale through center, and reaching the opposite fingers. Moving with your breath. Closing the eyes, getting lost in your movement, in your breath, still flexing those toes, feeling those long inhales and long exhales. And as your body moves, see if you can start to let the subconscious thoughts get a little bit louder. Those conscious thoughts get a little bit quieter. And then place yourself in this room, in your sanctuary. And then on one of your walls, I want you to place a door. Closed and locked. Which side of the room do you find your door? Is it behind you? Is it to the left, to the right, in front of you? Out of what is it made? What color is it? What does the door handle look like? How about the keyhole? You have a locked door, but there's, there's a keyhole. Is it old? Is it new? Out of what material is it made? Feel that cool or warm air entering and exiting your nose in your room. And then take a big inhale in the up position. Reach the arms up. Turn over those right toes. And then exhale. Crown of the head down toward those toes. Relaxing the head, neck, and shoulders. Maybe just staying right here, holding on to that shin. But wherever you are, relax the head. Relax the shoulders, take out any tension in the body, allowing yourself to just sink down and relax.
with every breath, finding a little more space in that low back. Relaxing one more muscle. And on a big inhale, inhale through center, reach the arms up, feel that length, turn over those left toes, and then exhale down, relaxing the head, neck, and shoulders once again, wherever you are, letting yourself sink down. Still trying to flex those toes back toward you, letting the head be heavy, finding those same long inhales and long exhales, with the eyes closed, see if you can find yourself back in your room, back in your sanctuary. Breathing deep, orienting yourself to your door, the walls, the ceiling, the floor. What texture do you find on your walls? Can you allow it to be solid and unchanging, unwavering? How about your floor? Has your floor changed or is it the same? Can you hold it in your mind as one thing, not wavering, not changing? When we can find that solidity in our imagination, we'll start to find more solidity in our dreams. Inhale the arms all the way back into center. Then exhale them straight forward as far out as they'll go. Relax the forehead down to the earth, stopping wherever you are. Or you can still feel your knees coming down toward the earth, letting the head be heavy and the shoulders be heavy. Closing the eyes, binding those long inhales and long exhales. Allowing your awareness to be back in your room, back in your sanctuary. Finding each of those details in the ceiling, the wall, the floor, your door. Holding them solid, not letting them change or waver. When we can spend this time working on the connection of our imagination and our subconscious, then our dreams will start to become more and more clear. And when we can tell our conscious mind to be aware of these things, be aware of these subtle changes, tell our conscious mind that our subconscious mind is important, then our conscious mind will start paying attention to it. We'll find that our dreams are easier to remember and more vivid as we have them. So see if you can find that solidity now in all of these details that you've found so far in your room, in your sanctuary. And then slowly letting everything be heavy. Start to roll one vertebra at a time. Back up to seated. Take the feet around, back behind you, roll up over your hips, and come on up to tabletop. Really spread the fingers, the whole palm down on the earth, push the tops of the feet down, take a big inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, and then exhale, tucking the chin, tucking the pelvis, reaching the center of the back up, Inhale in as much as you can, in through the nose, let the belly drop. And then exhale, pushing the tops of your feet down, pushing your palms down, pushing out all that old air. Closing the eyes, inhaling, feeling that length, and exhaling. Feeling the wave of your breath up and down your spine, feeling that space in between each vertebra, space in between each one of your breaths. And then taking the knees nice and wide, send the hips back with those big toes together down toward the heels. Really let your heart sink down. And if it's available to you, you can bring your palms 
underneath your chin to feel your heart sinking a little closer down to the earth. If that's uncomfortable, then go ahead and reach the arms out in front of you, let the elbows relax, and bring your forehead down to the earth in child's pose. Reach the fingertips just a little farther out in front of you to feel that length in the low back. You really want to think about your low back releasing and letting go in this pose. Breathing deep, finding those same long inhales and long exhales, letting the eyes close, allowing your awareness to go back into your room, into your sanctuary. Going over the details that you've created in your ceiling, floor, and walls. Holding them solidly. Notice if anything is wavering or changing or unsure. Let it be sure, let it be solid, let it be real. And then ask yourself, am I dreaming? When we can learn to ask ourselves if we're dreaming while we are awake, then we'll start to ask ourselves if we're dreaming while we are asleep. So throughout your day, if you ever find yourself thinking about your dreams, ask yourself that question. And one day the answer might be yes. If you find yourself in your dreams, see if you can start to solidify your dreams making them real, unwavering, unchanging, finding the details, finding the colors. On one of your walls, I want you to place a window. Holding it solidly in your mind, see if you can count the window panes. Out of what is your window made? Is it metal? Is it aluminum? Is it wood? Is it a plant? Is it a tree? This is your space. It can be whatever you want, but allow it to be solid, unchanging. And see if you can find some imperfections, some cracks along the wall, where the hot and cold near the window has caused a little crack around the frame. Or perhaps there are some faded spots where the sun has hit the same spot on the windowsill every day. Finding these little details, allowing them to be solid and real, helps to create a little more stability, a little more solidity in our dreams and in our imagination. Keeping the eyes closed if you can. Slowly start to roll forward through tabletop, and then just come down to your forearms into sphinx, pushing the tops of your hands and the tops of your feet down into the earth, letting your shoulders come down away from your ears, maybe gazing up lightly to open up the throat, the sternum, closing the eyes, finding those same long inhales and long exhales. every breath, seeing if you can hear the subconscious thoughts getting a little bit louder, the conscious thoughts getting a little bit quieter. For every conscious thought that comes in, see if you can remember a dream, what it felt like to be dreaming, how you perceived yourself how you perceived your surroundings, how your physical body felt to be dreaming. Could you feel your breath? Could you feel your skin? Can you, could you feel where your body ended?
Swami Vishnu Devananda says that every genius learns to control the subconscious. But in order to control something, we must first recognize it, know what it is. See if you can feel your subconscious, that intuition. Placing yourself back in your room, back in your sanctuary. Going over each of the details, orienting yourself to the window, to the door. And then ask yourself, am I dreaming? Breathing deep. And just bring the hands down to the earth and then push yourself back up to tabletop. And then turn the right fingers in. Reach the left hand through, placing the left cheek down on the earth. Maybe pushing down with that right hand. Or if you'd like, you can reach it behind the back for the inside of that left thigh. Trying to pull your hips back to center. Finding those same long inhales and long exhales. Letting the body twist and release, relax. Relax that left shoulder, left fingers. Relax your neck and head. So allow the twist to come from your low body. Close the eyes, placing the awareness back in your room, back in your sanctuary. Finding those same long inhales and long exhales. Letting the body relax and breathe. Orienting yourself in your room, in your space. And ask yourself, am I dreaming? And let's say the answer was yes. So what's something that you can do in your dreams? Oftentimes we can manifest what we want if we can see it clearly in our mind. So I want you to picture an object in your room, whatever that object might be, Picture it clear, solidly, unchanging, unwavering. Know its color, its texture, the way it would feel if you ran your fingertips over this object. Place it in your room, orient it to you, to the door, to the window. Let it be solid, let it be real. And then slowly coming back through tabletop. Turn the left fingertips in and reach the right fingertips through. Maybe reaching that left arm behind the back for the inside of that right thigh. Pulling the hips back to center. Otherwise just staying right here. Pushing that left hand down Letting the left shoulder relax, the head relax. Finding those same long inhales and long exhales. With every breath, letting your subconscious get a little louder and your conscious get a little quieter. With every breath, Finding a little more space, a little more release. And allowing yourself to be in your room, in your sanctuary. Picturing your solid window, door, closed and locked. And this object, solid in your room, unchanging, unwavering. And seeing this object, seeing its color, 
not letting it change or waver. Imagine it to see it a different color, holding it solid. This is a simple technique if you find yourself dreaming to work on control of your dreams, to just change the color of something around you. It's a simple change that our subconscious isn't going to spend so much time fighting. It's the interesting thing that you'll find as you more and more often consciously dream is that your subconscious is always going to try to find a way to take back over, to trick you into thinking that you're awake, into not knowing that you're dreaming. But when we can solidly see things as we wish to see them, then our subconscious mind will start to listen. Slowly coming back through center. Take a few just circular motions with the hips and the shoulders. Just releasing the head, neck, shoulders, hips knees, moving with your breath, moving with that intuition, that voice that we've been trying to get louder and louder, and take it in the opposite direction, evening out the body, maybe letting the head go, feeling that nice movement. And then send the hips back, bring the feet out in front of you, pulling that right heel up into that thigh, letting that right knee collapse out. If you have a block, or something that you would like to put underneath it, or a rolled up blanket, a rolled up towel at home to feel that support if you can't reach that knee all the way down. And then slowly just start to walk the hands out toward those toes, flex the left toes back towards you, feeling the length in the low back and then the weight of the head as you relax down. Maybe just keeping the hands right at your shins, letting your shoulders, head and neck be heavy. See if you can take that round out of your spine. Think a little more about reaching your heart forward then reaching that nose down or the crown of the head reaching down for the shin so you can find the length in the low back first and then relax the head neck and shoulders breathing deep finding those same long inhales and long exhales allowing the awareness to go back into your room, into your sanctuary. Going over each of the details that you've created, see if any of them have changed. See if you can hold them solidly in your mind. And then ask yourself, am I dreaming? How did I get here? This is another interesting thing that can happen in our dreams is we'll just suddenly appear somewhere. So if there's no sequence of events that have brought you to where you are, chances are you're dreaming. And again, if you find yourself dreaming, then the question may be, what do I do? Turn your awareness to this object in your room, orienting yourself to your window, your door, ceiling, floor, walls, and this object, its new color, allow it to be solid. And in Tibetan dream yoga, one of the simplest techniques that they teach is to multiply an object that already exists in your dream. So see if you can create two of this object, placing them next to each other, maybe placing the second object in a different place in the room, orienting them to each other, to you, to the walls, the ceiling, floor, windows, 
door. This is another one of those simple things that our subconscious is able to recognize and realize and won't fight us so hard. In our dreams, doubt is our worst enemy. It's often the same in our conscious life, but especially in our dreams, if you doubt for a moment that you are in this room, if you doubt for a moment that there are two of these objects, if you doubt that you can change the color, then you will not be able to. But when we can know that we are able to create these things, know these things solidly, then our dreams will respond. Slowly letting the head be heavy, walking back, rolling up one vertebra at a time. Bring that left knee up into your chest and then place it on the outside of that right knee, that left foot down. Place that right hand back behind you. And for just a moment, just open the hip, sitting up tall, taking a breath, and exhaling all the way around in that really deep twist. Sitting up tall with every inhale, with every exhale, pushing out all of that air, pushing a little deeper. Inhaling in, pushing down with that left hand, reaching the crown of the head. Exhale, twisting a little deeper, letting that left hip release. One more big inhale. And then exhale, unwind. Let the right foot come straight out onto the earth. Bring the left foot up into your thigh. Again, placing a block or blanket or towel underneath that left knee if you need to. And slowly walking the hands out as far as they'll go. Trying to take the rounding out of your spine by reaching your heart forward. And then letting the head, neck, and shoulders relax down. Flexing those right toes back towards you so that you can relax that leg. Feeling that length, feeling those long inhales and long exhales. Mm. With every breath, letting the conscious thoughts get a little quieter, the subconscious thoughts get a little bit louder. Placing your awareness in your room, in your sanctuary, in this safe space that you are coming to know so well. Going over each of the details that you've created, orienting yourself to each of these objects, the window, the door. And then ask yourself, am I dreaming? When we can learn to find this solidity in our imagination, not allowing things to change, you find that your dreams are a little more clear. So with that clarity in mind, I want you to look toward one of your objects. And then start to move it with your mind. Let it slide across the floor. It's another simple thing to do while you are dreaming is just to move the things around you with your thoughts because they are all just extensions of you. So they are under your control. Letting the physical body release and relax any tension that's left the shoulders, the neck, breathing deep, finding those long inhales and long exhales.
going over each of the details that you've created. How does your room make you feel? Does it feel pleasant? Does it feel open? Does it feel inviting? How about that closed and locked door? Are you excited for what might be on the other side? Or does the thought of the unknown worry you? Can you still feel that warm or cool air entering and exiting your nose in your room, in your space? Does it have a scent? What does your room smell like? Slowly, one vertebra at a time, walking back up to seated. Bring that right knee up into the chest. Place that right foot down on the outside of the left knee and start to turn toward the left and just opening up. Take a big inhale, sitting up nice and tall. And then exhale and wind all the way through to the other side, right hand down behind, close into the sit bones and the left elbow on the outside of that right knee. Sitting up nice and tall with every inhale and with every exhale, pushing just a little deeper, pushing out all of that air, finding those long inhales and long exhales, breathing deep, inhaling in, sitting up a little taller, and then exhaling and twisting just a little bit deeper, inhaling in one more time, and then exhaling and unwinding. Place the heels down, send the hips down towards your feet. Let the legs fall out to the sides with the soles of the feet together. And then coming all the way down to the earth in Supta Baddha Konasana. Bring the right hand to your heart, left hand to your stomach. If you're at home and you'd like to place a few blocks or some blankets underneath both of your knees. Give yourself a little bit of support to where you can still feel the hips opening, but it's not quite so much stress on the hips as the whole weight of the legs. Feeling the heartbeat under the right hand, feeling the stomach rise and fall with every breath with your left hand. Closing the eyes, relaxing the shoulders, breathing deep. Binding those same long inhales and long exhales. Allowing the awareness to head back to your room, to your sanctuary. Going over each of the details that you've created. And then I want you to think about your favorite element, whatever element it is. And something I've noticed in my years of lucid dreaming is that creating an element in the space around you seems to be one of the easiest things to manifest in our dreams. So whatever that element is, place it in your room whether it's a burning candle, a gust of wind, a fire, a beautiful little soiled garden in the corner filled with earth, perhaps a fountain, or a little creek running through the middle of your room. Whatever it might be, let it be solid and real. Let it be just as solid as everything around it. Even though for some of us, it might be moving. See if you can notice how it's moving, how the flames are flickering how the wind 
is blowing your hair, how the water is passing through. Perhaps you can move a little bit of the soil with your hand and watch. The little bits of soil come cascading down. With every breath, finding one more detail in your room, in your sanctuary, finding one more imperfection, finding a little deeper breath, finding a little deeper relaxation. With every conscious thought, letting the subconscious thoughts get a little bit louder. The multifaceted diamond of consciousness. We have all these different levels of consciousness going on all at the same time. And then we choose which facet on which we might focus. Feel yourself focusing on the conscious and the subconscious facet and then noticing that line, that little ridge between the two. To see if you can play with stepping back and forth between them. Losing your orientation in this physical space and allowing yourself to be in your subconscious space. When we can learn to play on that little line, then we can start to consciously step into our dreams. Consciously dream. Consciously be aware during this time while our subconscious has so much control. And so often our subconscious has so much to tell us. And so often we aren't there to listen. See if you can hear it now. Slowly straighten that right leg all the way out in front of you. Bring that left knee up into your chest. And start to straighten the left leg, reaching the heel up into the sky, holding onto the back of the thigh, back of the knee, back of the calf. Maybe peace grip around those left toes if you can reach it, letting the right arm fall out to the right side. Wherever's comfortable so that you can hold this for a little while, as you feel that left hip release and relax, reaching that left heel up into the sky, flexing the toes back towards you, finding those same long inhales and long exhales, allowing your awareness to be back in your room, back in your sanctuary, going over each of the details that we've created getting to know this space, getting to know your subconscious. And then slowly holding on to that leg with the right hand, wherever you are, start to pull the left leg over the body. Bringing it as far down toward the earth as you can. Letting that Left arm fall out to the side, left shoulder relax down. Finding those same long inhales and long exhales. As we move through these final postures, see if you can just keep your eyes closed. Creating the reality of your room around you. 
not allowing it to change or waver, not allowing any part of it to be foggy. Find it solid, find it real. And then any time a conscious thought comes in, wondering where we're going, wondering what is coming next, or perhaps a thought about life, a worry. See if you can let that thought go and bring up the memory of a dream. What it felt like to be asleep. Allow that feeling to permeate you, to permeate your room. Slowly bring that left leg back through center. Grab onto it with the left hand, taking the place of the right, wherever is comfortable. And then let that left leg fall out to the left side. Finding those same long inhales and long exhales. Relaxing the right shoulder down to the earth. Allowing your awareness to be in your room, in your sanctuary. Not allowing the physical body to distract you. We so often get caught up in the distractions of the physical body. Of the conscious mind. So many things that are always trying to grab our attention. See if you can let them go. Allow your subconscious to get a little louder and your conscious to get a little bit quieter. Breathing deep. Going over each of the details that you've created in your room. And slowly bring that right leg back through center. And then let it relax down next to your left. See if that right leg feels a little bit longer than the left. Or the left leg feels a little longer than the right. And then bring that right knee up into your chest. Start to straighten that right leg, holding on to it wherever you may, maybe behind the calf, behind the knee, maybe peace grip around those right toes. Maybe you can let that left arm fall out to the left side. Allowing your awareness be back in your room, back in your sanctuary. Has anything changed? Has anything wavered? Can you find it solid? You find those two objects. Can you find your element? That window, the door. Allow those subconscious thoughts, that intuition to get a little louder. Conscious thoughts to get a little quieter. Allowing the memories of your dreams. Hold on to that right foot with the left hand. Start to pull the right foot over the body, letting the right arm fall out to the right side. Finding those same long inhales and long exhales. every conscious thought, finding a little deeper breath. With every conscious thought, finding one more detail in your room. With every conscious thought, letting it go and finding that subconscious thought getting a little bit louder.
allowing your awareness to be in your room, in your sanctuary, in this safe space that you are creating, in this perfect practice ground for your thoughts. Every thought, every tangent we have in our dreams, in our imagination, has immediate ramifications. Whatever you think of will suddenly appear in your dreams, will suddenly appear in your room. See if you can let those thoughts be choices. not random thoughts being thrown at you trying to get your attention, not your body trying to get your attention. Slowly bring that right leg through center, holding onto it with that right hand, let the left arm fall out to the side, and then open that right foot out to the right, down toward the earth. Breathing deep. Letting it release and relax. Finding those same long inhales and long exhales. Hmm. Seeing if those subconscious thoughts are a little louder and the conscious thoughts are a little quieter. Can you feel your room? a little more solid? Can you feel your physical body a little bit further away? Can you find that space in between your breath? That space in between each one of your vertebra, that space in your body. Can you find that space in between your thoughts? That tiny little moment. As one thought leaves, and right before the next thought comes in, see if you can place yourself in that little tiny spot in between. And start to push that space wider and wider. That quiet space in between. It's where you will find your dreams, your imagination, your ideas, your subconscious. I'm waiting for you right around the corner. It's so often so much quieter than everything else in our life trying to get our attention. And yet it can teach you so much. See if you can hear it. As you slowly bring that right leg back to center and then relax it down to the left. Just relaxing down on the earth for a few deep breaths. Turning the palms up to the sky. Reaching the crown of your head away from the rest of your body. Tucking one shoulder blade and then the other underneath you. Feeling the weight of your bones, the weight of your muscles, the weight of every cell in your body, releasing and relaxing down. Feel your forehead relax, your eyes relax, your cheekbones relax, your chin, your throat, your neck, 
your shoulders relax, your triceps, your elbows. Feel your forearms relax, your palms, your fingers, your chest, your diaphragm, your stomach. Feel your upper back relax, your shoulder blades relax, your mid-back relax, your low back, your pelvis, your hips, your thighs, your hamstrings, your knees relax, your calves relax, your ankles, the tops of your feet, the bottoms of your feet, all the way to your toes. Observe yourself lightly breathing and then allow this observer to float away from your physical body in your room in your sanctuary and turn around and look at your physical form lying still on the earth Float over toward your object. Run your fingertips over its textures. Drift toward your element. Notice its details. Bring your awareness to your window. And maybe gaze outside. What do you see? Is it night? Is it day? Can you tell where you are? Are you in the mountains, by the ocean, in the beautiful forest, or floating through space and all you see is the stars? And slowly start to drift toward your door. Place your ear up against the door Feel the texture of the door on your cheek. Can you hear what's on the other side? Start to place whatever you would like on the other side of your door. Creating it with as much detail as what you've created on this side. Perhaps if nothing comes to mind, just allow yourself to be surprised as you reach down for the door handle. Turn the handle, ah, but it's locked. Pull the key from its hiding place. You know where it is because it's your room, it's your sanctuary. Pull out the key. What does your key look like? Out of what is it made? What color is it? Place your key in the keyhole. Turn it. Feel the tumblers release. Place your hand on the handle. Twist the handle. Slowly open your door and step through.
Slowly start to make your way back to your door. Step inside, close the door behind you. Lock it, pull the key out, and place it back in its hiding place. But know that this room is there for you any time that you need it. Whether you need a peaceful place while you are awake, or you'd like to find a safe space in your dreams, any door can be this door. Slowly start to drift back towards your body. Notice it breathing there on the floor. Place yourself back in with your breath. Feel your breath all the way to the tips of your fingers and the tips of your toes. Run your thumbs over your fingertips. Roll the wrists, the ankles, the knees, the hips, the shoulders. And stretch your arms up above you like you're waking up from the best dream. <sighs> slowly rolling onto one side or the other, keeping the eyes softly shut, find your way back to that same comfortable cross-legged position in which we started class. Sitting up nice and tall, breathing deep all the way down to your diaphragm. And then notice if you're sitting a little easier, if your breath is coming a little calmer, if your thoughts seem just a little bit further apart, and your dreams don't seem quite so far away. Inhale the arms out to the side, all the way up into the sky one last time. Hold the breath at the top. Bring the palms together in the energy of our entire class and exhale it down in between the eyes to the third eye. May your life be filled with enlightened dreams. Bring the hands in front of the mouth. May you always have the patience for enlightened speech. And bring the hands in front of the heart. May your heart have the healing it requires to live an enlightened life. Namaste. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you. For those of you here at the studio, if you would like, there's a donation box in the back. For those of you at home, there's a donation button on your screen. No amount is too small. It's much appreciated so that we can continue to bring yoga to anyone and everyone. And just remember that change doesn't happen just with the time that we spend on our mats. Change happens with every conscious breath that we take in our lives. So as always, peace truly be with you. <laughs>